This video will show how you can go from a gross carious lesion to a surface that's compatible with the opposing occlusion, make a clear custom matrix of that new surface, and use that clear custom matrix to reform your new composite and cure through it, creating a surface that doesn't need any polishing, finishing, or adjusting. Hard to believe? Just watch. I'm going to show you a time-saving technique where you can restore a gross curious lesion very quickly, saving 5 to 10 minutes of chair time on every composite that you place. After anesthetizing the patient, we're going to take some red border molding wax and we're going to place that into the tooth and then we actually force it into the tooth with our gloved finger and this creates a very smooth surface. Now we're going to scrape away the excess in just a second. We have to place some wax into the buckle and again this is just done with the gloved finger. Then I take an instrument and scrape away the excess And this is all being done while the patient is gaining anesthesia, so we have, we're not losing any chair time. You'll see how we use this very smooth surface that I'm going to create here with red wax, red border molding wax. We're using the glove finger to actually smooth this surface and create a surface that is much smoother than you can get by forming composite with an instrument. So now we've smoothed the composite. We'll scrape away the excess. And now we're even going to take into account the opposing occlusion. So I'm now going to have the patient bite together. They can go through excursions. And we now have a surface that is very smooth and needs minimal or any polishing if we can reproduce this surface in composite. I'm now going to show you how smooth this wax is. And we'll try to focus in on this with the video. Now this is all done with a gloved finger and the instrument a plastic placement instrument is used to scrape away the excess. We already took into account the patient's occlusion and now we're going to take an impression, a very small impression, with a clear bite registration material which will be used later on to reform the unset composite and allow light through for curing, leaving a surface that is not air inhibited and needs no polishing. Now this impression goes very quickly. So I'm going to get a clear bite registration material down to the end of this static mixing tip, an interaural syringe tip, and we run that over the surface of the tooth and then over the buccal surface And now we're going to take a mylar strip and create a flat, smooth surface on the occlusal surface, which will allow an even surface for us to place the light curing bundle on and to put even pressure on this when we light cure this through this, when we light cure through this later on in the procedure. Now, in the mouth, this sets within about 45 seconds. And so by the time we take the mylar strip off and remove this very small impression, the patient has not gained anesthesia, so we have not lost any chair time. The mylar strip comes right off, leaving a very smooth, flat surface. The impression comes right off, because it's just a polyvinyl siloxane impression. 
It's very hard to see the detail in something like this being a clear impression, but we'll use this clear impression to reform the unset composite later on in the procedure to create a surface that needs minimal shaping, finishing, polishing, or adjusting. We've now prepped the tooth, and during that preparation, all the red wax would have easily been removed. In most cases, enamel, undermined enamel, would be removed, and this preparation would be larger than you see here. But that is okay since our custom occlusal matrix covered the entire surface of the tooth, and consequently, any composite replacing that surface would have been easily contoured. We're going to fill this up using as many layers of composite as you want. In this demonstration, to save time, we're only going to place one layer. And there are now techniques or materials that it can be used to fill the tooth all at one time. With the clear custom matrix technique, you don't want to place more composite than you need. And so what we're doing here is removing what we believe to be as excess composite. So as soon as I feel that I have removed all the excess composite and only having a slight excess, as you can see here, this surface doesn't appear to be well formed, but we can now take the clear custom matrix, place it back over this tooth, and place pressure on this with our finger, forcing the composite into its original surface that the patient would be comfortable with as far as their occlusion is concerned. We'll also be able to cure through this, curing in the original anatomy, surface texture, and occlusion that this patient was comfortable with. We're going to create a surface that is not air inhibited and needs no polishing and is as smooth as the original tooth surface and the wax that we were able to burnish with our finger. So I'm going to cure this not only from the occlusal surface, but I'm also going to cure it from the buccal surface. So the proof of the pudding now is when we take this off. And we're going to try to show you how smooth this surface is. We're going to take an explorer and probe this surface so you can see how smooth these margins are. There might be a little bit of a catch right here. But take a look here on this buckle. how the Explorer slides. Again, there might be a little bit of a catch right there. But in essence, this Explorer slides from tooth structure to composite with minimal catch. Again, a little catch maybe right here. But in essence, this surface is hard and smooth and needs minimal, if any, finishing or polishing. This is how you save five to ten minutes of chair time on every composite you place since your finishing, shaping, and polishing is greatly reduced. Let's see if we can show you what this looks like. But I would just cure it again for 20 seconds, the recommended time for this composite, and this patient most likely would be able to get up and walk out of the chair with minimal shaping, finishing, or polishing.